Take a look at this spread, perfect for a Southwestern celebration like Cinco de Mayo. And because it's all diet friendly and delicious, this is food you can cinco your teeth into. Hi, I'm Jan Diatri, and this is Clean Eating the Red Mountain Way. Marinated shrimp lettuce wraps, south of the border cauliflower rice, sensational salsa, and a mocktail with a kick. Let's get this party started. First up, shrimp lettuce wraps. In a bowl, combine the juice from one lime, a clove of minced garlic, and a half a teaspoon each of cumin, chili powder, and salt. Blend it well, and then add one pound of peeled and deveined medium shrimp to the marinade. Make sure the shrimp is coated really well, and then refrigerate for about 30 minutes so the marinade can do its magic. Then get a grill plate or skillet nice and hot and add the marinated shrimp. You just won't believe the flavor this marinade adds to these succulent shrimp. Cook for two minutes and then turn the shrimp over and cook for another two. You can baste the shrimp with the marinade left in the bowl for added flavor. When done, set them aside and let's make the salsa that goes with the lettuce wraps. In a blender or mini chopper, add one cup of tomatoes, three tablespoons of lemon juice, two tablespoons of fresh cilantro, a teaspoon of fresh or dried oregano, two cloves of fresh garlic, and a fourth of a teaspoon each of red pepper flakes and chili powder. Then finish with a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and salt and pepper to taste. Chop it as smooth or as thick as you want. I love to use this hand-powered mini chopper from Kuhn. It's the perfect kitchen tool for something like salsa and you can completely control the texture. Now that you've got the shrimp and salsa, all you need are fresh lettuce leaves. Two leaves per wrap should do it. Lay about four shrimp on the leaf, then spread a little salsa over the top and wrap it up and relish the flavors of Mexico. Now for the tasty side, Southwestern cauliflower rice, a new favorite in my house. You won't find many carbs or empty calories here, just great flavors from fresh veggies and spices. And how nice that you can find pre-packaged rice cauliflower in stores these days. You'll need four cups or a one pound bag. In a hot skillet, add about a half a cup of chicken broth. Then add a half of a diced medium sweet yellow onion. When the onion is softened, add two cloves of fresh garlic and then the riced cauliflower. Cook for a few minutes to soften and then add two tablespoons of tomato paste, a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, a fourth of a teaspoon each of cayenne pepper and cumin, and a teaspoon each of salt and pepper. Give it all a good stir and then add two large diced plum aroma tomatoes. Now I add these last so they retain their shape and don't overcook. Finally, chop up some fresh cilantro, about two tablespoons, and add that to the skillet. Wow, what a super satisfying, flavorful side dish. You could make an entire meal out of this one. So now that we have our marinated shrimp and salsa lettuce wraps and our Mexican rice cauliflower, how about an icy, refreshing beverage with a kick? This spicy margarita mocktail is the perfect drink to wet the whistle guilt-free. Add about a cup of ice to a pitcher. Take a lime wedge and wet the rim of your glass. Then dip the rim in salt. Now to the ice, add a juice of two limes, the juice of one large orange, and a half of a fresh sliced jalapeno. Finally, add about a cup of zero calorie seltzer water or club soda. This one's lemon lime and it is delicious. Give it a stir and pour yourself a refreshing taste of the Southwest. It's a guilt-free celebration of the flavors we love, courtesy of Red Mountain Weight Loss. For more great recipes for clean eating the Red Mountain Way, visit redmountainweightloss.com.